ready? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Good mm -hmm. afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Buck and Pastor Nikki Stanley with the good news mm -hmm. from our winter home <laughs> here in Salt Springs, Florida. We just uh, uh, got back from Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, Nikki's... Uh, lungs her appointment with the lung doctor and all and her sleep doctor and she had such a good report i just thank god for that amen um you know when you get older you got a lot of things that you got to keep check on and <laughs> and <laughs> uh it's really not a lot of fun getting old is it no but there is joy in the lord because he is our strength. That's right. And so we're coming to you today with the good news that no matter what you're facing, God is in control. And oh, how he loves you and me. His love is pure. His love is divine. His love is true. And there can be nothing better. What can separate us from the love of God? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing can separate us from his love. Amen. But we can do something that will separate us from his blessings, and that is sin mm. in our life. And so it's so important today for us to ask God, is there something in my life that you are not pleased with. Amen. And you know, he'll tell you. Yes. Oh, he'll tell you. He may not speak through your ears, but he'll speak through your heart. That's right. And so today, Pastor Nicky's got a good message for us, and we're just going to worship the Lord with you on this beautiful afternoon. A little bit of cooler weather has come to Florida. Um but not a whole lot. <laughs> and uh, we just want to say hello to all of our family and friends up in West Virginia, and yes. Ohio, yes. Kentucky, Florida, <laughs> and North Carolina, South Carolina, and throughout the world. We just want to say that we love you with the love of the Lord. That's right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer <clears throat> and ask God to bless the next 30 minutes, okay? Amen. Heavenly <clears throat> Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. What a wonderful God you are. And even in our darkest moments, you have a way of bringing some light, sunshine, encouragement to us. And we just come to say thank you. We've come to say thank you for the price you paid for the forgiveness of our sins. We want to say thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost that yes. will help us <laughs> when we're born again to stay on the right path and get to know you more. Lord, we just want to know you more. Amen. We just want to do what the Word says, draw nigh to God, and you will draw nigh to us. And so, Father, we ask for your blessings on this time. Who knows, maybe a year from now, five years from now. Who knows who will be watching this. And they'll have that special need that you will supply through this 30 minutes that we have together. Amen. Lord, I pray for the lonely I pray for those that are depressed. I pray for those that are suffering from anxiety. I pray for those that feel like no one cares for them. I pray for those that have been rejected. I pray for those that's been set aside by their family because they're just too busy to mess with them, give them any time. And I pray for those that are lost 
and on their way to a devil's hell. Amen. God, right now, may your love draw us all together. Yes, and we Lord. thank you and ask you to forgive us of our sins. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. Yes. And, and, and we just want to say we love you. Yes, Father. We just want to say that we know that we're not perfect. Amen. And we know that we are so full of fault. But we also know that we love you, Jesus. Yes. We love you, Jesus. Yes. Because you made it possible for us to have eternal life Amen. with our Creator. Amen. And give us strength in this life to enjoy. To enjoy what you will bring our way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Well, here's an old song that uh, was written many years ago. And it's been in my my spirit. I've been singing it. Let's just sing it today. It's called The Good Old Gospel Ship. Are you ready? ready. Come on, get on board. Amen. It's time. The ship is leaving for the banker. Have. Yes. I have good news to bring. And that is why I sing all my joys with you. I'll share. I'm going to take a trip. Good old gospel ship and 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. <clears throat> what a great old song. We're going to get Pastor Nikki now to come and bring us a message, and I pray that it will bless you. <clears throat> Not only do I pray it will bless you, but if there's something in your life that God is not pleased with, that he will show you. Yes. And you'll be willing to say, Lord, I give it to you. Amen. Not my will, but your will be done. Amen. Come. Amen. That's a good word, Pastor Buck. We want to keep our, our record clear, don't we? We want to keep it clean. And that can only be done in trusting the Lord Jesus and looking to Him. Amen. This afternoon, I want to read some scripture from the book of Colossians, chapter 3. I love this scripture. It says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, oh, yes. not on things on the earth. Amen. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Beloved, you know, when you were baptized and you were put down into the water, you were baptized in Christ. You followed him in death, death in the water, and you rose up again to life in Christ. And spiritually, we are seated in Christ at the right hand of God the Father. And we have access to anything and everything that we need on this earth to do the will of God. That's what the Lord wants, is for us to allow him to use us to tell others the good news that there is salvation in Jesus Christ and him alone. We have a friend that we met on Facebook and he is now going out each day and being led by the Spirit of God to talk to people as to whether they understand the salvation message. Right. Amen. And we had another friend years ago that stopped by and he said, I have led so many people to the Lord Jesus just by going to Walmart or sitting on, a, uh, the, uh, on the bench at a bus stop. And he was so excited. You know, it is exciting to be in the work of the Lord. Yes, it is. And it can only be done in the power of his spirit. So, beloved, I'm really, today I'm speaking to my Christian brothers and sisters, those who are born again. And if you're not born again, and you want to understand the things of God, you need to go to the Lord Jesus, repent of your sin, and ask Him to be Lord of your life, to fill you. You know, what the Lord wants is total surrender. A lot of us spent years going to church and we believed in God Come we on. believed the word of God but we weren't letting God be our all in all we weren't letting Jesus be Lord of our lives and so he is always at work drawing us into that deeper communion with himself so that we can be uh, sanctified made holy and righteous and so he can use us for his glory. You remember how Jesus said in, in the book of John, he said, unless you abide in me, you cannot produce any good fruit. And I want to produce good fruit, don't you? So that on that day when I stand before the Lord, I'll be able to show him, I'll be able to, my hands will be full of the work that he has yes, given me to yes, do, yes. and I've been faithful with it. And so there'll be many souls in heaven because of my obeying the Lord, obedience, obedience yes. to the Lord, living and abiding in the Lord Jesus, and following Him wherever He leads. And so Paul says, If 
ye then be risen with Christ? Have you been baptized and come up out of the water and you risen with Christ? Seek those things which are above. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. We mustn't even set our affection on one another. We mustn't set our affection on our children. We mustn't set our affection on money and things. You know, we're always seeing things and saying, oh, I'd like that, oh, oh, I'd like that. And we maybe get so involved with the things of this world that we forget to seek the Lord, acknowledge Him in all of our ways, and ask him what's on his heart, what's on his mind, and how does he want to use us. You know, in um, Paul was concerned about one thing and that only, and that was seeking the Lord Jesus. He's our prize. He's the one yes, he is. that we're looking forward to seeing face to face. Now, while we're here on this earth, by his spirit we can have some wonderful sweet times with the lord just like that song that was written years ago in the garden i come to the garden alone seeking the lord and hearing his voice and then the lord sends us out to tell others the good news after we get our buckets full i heard someone say that we need to come to the throne of god in christ worshiping adoring Bowing to a fighter, too. just as Deborah was, we can fight for the kingdom of God yes. by the power of His Spirit. Yes, Lord. Let's not forget that. Let's not try to do things in our own power. Let's remember that we are crucified with Christ. Yes. Nevertheless, we live, yet not us, but Christ lives in us. And the life we now live, we live by the faith of the Son of God who loved us and gave himself for Amen. us. Amen. So, beloved, every day put on the Lord Jesus and put off this flesh and then be ready, be ready to face the world and whatever the devil throws at you, you can conquer it, you can overcome it in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Amen. Because you are in him. Yes. We forget who we are in Christ. We think we have to do this or we have to do that in order to please God. We please him when we trust him and when we yes. abide in the Lord Jesus. When we realize who we are. The book of Ephesians, the chapter 1 and 2, tell us who we are in Christ. And it's all by faith in him. And he's the one that opens our eyes and gives us the faith. I remember reading the Bible when I was a teenager, and I believed it, and then I tried to walk it out in my flesh. I tried to love others as Jesus wanted me to, and I failed every time. Amen. But when Amen. I was born again at the age of 33 and filled to overflowing with his spirit, I picked up the word again, and I began reading and it came alive. Yes. And my aunt, who was in her 90s, when I told her what had happened to me, she said, every time you read the Bible, Nikki, ask the Lord to show you what he would have you learn. Ask the Lord to reveal to you what the word means. And then ask the Lord to give you the power to work it out, to love yes. others, to Amen. love God, to love others as Jesus commanded. We can't do it in our flesh. Jesus wants us to come to the end of our rope and realize he doesn't expect us to do it. He did it all at the cross. He wants us to believe that he is the Son of God come in the flesh who died to pay the price for our sin and that as we surrender to him we repent and give our lives to him then we can do what he asks us to do it is wonderful to abide in the Lord Jesus and as Pastor Buck said to me today he said when the flesh rises up the Spirit of God rises up even greater 
And if we'll obey and li listen and obey, we will get a blessing. If we don't, then we have to come, repent again, ask the Lord to cleanse us and say we are sorry for being disobedient and giving in to the flesh. He understands. We're like, uh, you know, we're like babies that are trying to walk and we fall, but Daddy's there to pick us up and to get us back on our feet. Amen. And our God is a wonderful Father. He's not there sitting there waiting to punish us and judge us. He wants us to be one with Him, to abide in the Lord Jesus, abide in His Spirit, and be good children. I, me I remember my mother saying to me, just be a good child. Children have a faith that is beyond anything an adult has unless the Lord gives it to you. And they trust and believe whatever they're told, don't they? Mm -hmm. And the Lord wants us to believe Him and trust Him yes. and rely on Him. Amen. So let's set our affection on things above, not on the things of this world. They're all decaying. They're all going to burn up everything in this world. But Jesus, the Word of Life, He will live forever. His Word will live forever. We can count on his word. We can rely on it. And one day we're going to see him face to face. It's Amen. going to be wonderful. Let's please our Heavenly Father by abiding in the spirit of the Lord Jesus <clears throat> and doing what we are told to do. Amen. I have a little song that says, Jesus is precious. I used to sing this song at the uh, food pantry or kitchen in Palatka, Florida, I would take my guitar on my lunch hour and play. And I met so many precious people, especially Mr. Dixon. He would come, he was in his 90s, and he would come and talk to some of the young men about how they could get back on their feet and tell them his story of, of how he would go out and work for free so that people would see what a good worker he was and then they would hire him. But this song, Jesus is Precious, he fell in love with and he fell in love with Pastor Buck and me. He'd come to our little nursing home church every Sunday. Listen to the words. May it be your song to Jesus. When I Thank you. 
wonderful relationship you could ever have. We love you and we'll look for you on Thursday. Bye for now. <laughs>